Okay, so let's talk about dates. Let's open dates PHP. And here we have it. Okay, so in PHP we have a couple of functions working with dates. Yeah, we have a lot of functions in PHP actually. So uh, let's print the current timestamp from the uh, 1970 first of January midnight. So every timestamp is basically calculated from 1970 first of January. And in PHP, the time function will return that timestamp. Okay, and let's print it. And that's the timestamp. But the timestamp generally is not really readable for the user, okay? So we need to uh, show user some, you know, like user-friendly date, okay? So we need to use echo um, date. And here we pass the format, okay? So, like, I'm going to use the format right now. Then I'm going to explain what, what it does. Uh, Y, M, D, H, I, and S, uh, lowercase s. And I will explain this right now. And here it is. So that's the, uh, that's the current time. Okay. So let's refresh it and we see the seconds are increased. So 2020, uh, February 15, and that's the time. Okay. And the seconds are increased. So in PHP, we have uh, like a, a lot of a lot of options to format the dates, and uh, this is this just prints the current year. Then we print dash, we print month, we the dash, and then we print day. This will be hour uh, in twenty four hour format. This will be minute, and this will be second. Okay. So if I want to print uh, yesterday's time, the same time yesterday. Okay. So I need to use echo date. So basically, I need to print the same format. Okay, let me just copy and paste this. But the date function accepts second argument, which is the timestamp. So if I pass here the current timestamp, that does the same thing. Okay, that prints the exact same date. But if I subtract like minus 60, so that means I'm subtracting uh, 60 seconds from the current time. And that obviously writes different time one minute before the current time. Okay, if I want to print yesterday's current time, then I need to multiply 60 by uh, 60, and that gives me like a one hour difference, and that should be multiplied on 24, which gives me 24 hour difference. Okay, and that will be yesterday's at the same time. Okay, so let's open this link. I'm not going to explain every possible formatting features in PHP, but uh, I'm going to show where you can find this. So th this is the link. The link will be find uh, can be found in the video description. Definitely check it out. And here are some formatting possibilities. Okay, so lowercase d formats uh, day of month from uh, zero to thirty one. We have j, which also is day of month, but it's uh, printing one to thirty one. Okay, this prints 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3. This just prints 1, 2, 3. Uh, okay, I strongly recommend to check out the link, have a look how it works. Um, I hope you are writing along with me. So just take the, co copy the like symbols, put it in your date formatting uh, code, just have a look how it is outputted. Okay, that's like get your hands dirty. Okay. Uh, so let's move on and um, I want to show you another option um, like let me let me show this to you quickly I'm gonna copy that one also okay this is another format and let's have a look so this uh, uppercase F formats the month name then we have the J which is the uh, like day of the month 15 then we have YAR and the hours are the same Okay, so we have uh, another function working with dates, and that's called str to str to time, and uh, that accepts the time as a string. Okay, so if I pass now right here, that gives the following output. So that gives us the timestamp. So if I give like a, a plus one day, excuse me, plus one day, that gives the timestamp. Uh, one day plus the current current time okay um, and we can also give here like one week plus one week and that gives a different timestamp and then 
we can take that timestamp and put it in the date formatting uh, function and this will be the output right here 22 of February okay so if you want to like uh, see the, the full possible uh, strings what we have right here check out the um, yeah, str2 time php function and you will see a lot of things there and again you can just write in this google or or in the in the video description and you will you will find some like good examples right here okay so let's move on and now i want to show you how we can parse the date okay so for this i'm gonna uh, copy also the code put here and look at this so i have a date as a string and it's like 2026 of february at that time and i'm calling date parse let me comment everything else okay and when i print date parse result this is how it works we have yar we have array actually we have yar month day hour mean second fraction warnings and some other stuff is local time false okay so if we want to take just the current hour and minute and second we can easily take this if i if we just want to take the month and the year we can easily take from this associative area and that's that's pretty cool i think and we also have possibility to apply our own custom formatting uh when we want to parse the date okay and uh by the way if, if you are interested uh, to see more just click the following link which will be in the in the code um, okay let me copy another code which is uh, which is the last thing about dates let's comment this this one and here I have date string in a different format February 4 2020 just like this and I can use date parse from format okay here I'm just using date parse which parses with default format and this is the default format but if I have in a different format I can I can call that date parse from format function first argument will be the format and the second argument will be the date string itself and that basically will give us the same uh, same type of output okay um, again check out more uh, in in the following links and yeah that's it about days if you if you like my videos just hit the like and subscribe buttons and uh, let's move on and talk about more interesting stuff which is related to uh, only PHP and let's let's move on about super globals and form submission and things like that